Good, whatever it is, I'm Antalus. Welcome back to Space Engineers. So, I've finished mining. I've built up the tanks, I believe, and I've got spare ice. We're gonna prepare for takeoff, which means sealing all these doors if I can get the hitboxes on them. They don't seem to be working properly. There we go. See what do we have down here? I believe this should all be sealed. Um, there was a suggestion also to move our projector in here as well as just make this a permanent part, and I like that idea. I'm gonna go for it, but I want more than one build and repair system. I think um, the idea was that it can be our combat repair capability. We're just gonna close all the doors on the bridge, and oops, open and close. And, yeah, I think it's a useful idea and it will help, but we need a little bit more ready. Well, the projector is off, that means it's not going to be trying to build anything while we're flying. Let's turn on our HUD. Okay, we are good to go. I did take this off and finish building it. By the way, I am reading your comments just right now. With time constraints, my options are respond to comments or record and so I'm favoring recording so that's why I haven't responded to comments I've left the notifications up believe me I know I have 40 notifications and some of those are new subscribers I get a notification most of the time when people subscribe but not every time so we're gonna go ahead and take off and we will leave this place behind so we should have all systems online and I believe that includes the gravity drive, which I will remove at some point. We have 29 minutes of fuel. That should be enough for us to get to space and then we'll power down, recharge, and retool. So my plan is that we're gonna go as high as we possibly can on just the atmospheric, which is gonna be this really slow climb. We are accelerating. I am at full burn, all eight atmospheric thrusters are on and then we'll switch over to hydrogen. And given we've repaired our hydrogen thrusters, I'm not expecting them to last long, but we do have ion as well. And our ion should be able to supplement it, and we'll see how long it takes us to get to space. Hopefully we have enough, we do have some spare ice, but it takes a really, really long time to refuel this thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many hydrogen tanks. I know we have two in each wing and that might be it. So we might only have four hydrogen tanks. What is our altitude? 1300 meters and climbing. I would love to get some more speed before we lose atmospheric thrusters. We're gonna head forward as well or not. Pitching up I think was a bad idea. We are losing atmospheric thrust, it looks like. Preparing to kick on hydrogen. Yeah, we're going down. Hydrogen on, full burn. 98%. Pitches up, we need full upward. And we will keep on atmospheric for a little bit, given that we'll give us some thrust rather than none. We are also, it looks like our our iron thrusters are already on. And I do want that. There's not much, but it's something. 2,000 meters in climbing, 91% fuel. Why is it dropping? Oh, because we're going over the mountain. The ground is coming up. We're not going down. Pitch up some more. 86% fuel. We're approximately 2.7 kilometers above our original altitude, which worries me. Um, if it comes down to it, my plan is we have a bajillion downwards thrusters, and I will save some of the last hydrogen plus our atmospheric thrusters 
to break us before we crash and get destroyed into a thousand million pieces on the ground. We are losing speed. Pitch down. We gotta keep that speed up. 77%. I don't think we're gonna make it. 76%. Three thousand two hundred meters. We have a long, long ways to go, and my hope is that we can get high enough up that our atmospheric thrusters, or not our atmospheric thrusters, but that our ion thrusters can start to take over a little bit. But we need that planetary gravity to drop. We are four kilometers off the ground and rising quickly. Okay. And we're going to do it the same like we crashed, or like we landed this. We didn't crash it, luckily. We're going to toggle these off very briefly and then back on. Because we don't want... I guess we can just shut off inertial dampeners. Because they take a little bit. 60% fuel. Rising quickly. 0.87 gravity. And we're going to shut off all thrust for a moment. We are still rising. Why are we rotating? That was not an intentional thing. Oh, it's because the inertial dampeners are off. We're rotating due to the weight of the crafts. I need to get rid of those. I thought about it, but then I thought I'll just bring them with me, even though they're useless in space. Oh, if I could just cut them loose, I would. 50% fuel. Okay. New plan, we are going to power down the hydrogen thrusters entirely, because that will leave gyro control. Hydrogen is offline. We are cruising without fuel. 47%, and that will give us a chance to recharge a little bit, too. We're dropping. Oh wow, that was fast. That was way fast. So, I think we're going to need to come up with a new plan. Because this is not working. 39%. At 20%, I'm calling this attempt a failure. We're still dropping in altitude. I think we're going over a mountain. We're going to cut the hydrogen thrust for a moment. And we're going to watch the speed indicator. 36%. Come on. Let's recharge that a little bit faster. Now I still have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yep. We are now falling full speed. Hydrogen to on. Bring us about. And we're going to drop some altitude quickly. Ideally, oh, what if we went for the top of a mountain rather than our lake landing? Because the top of a mountain would give us a little bit of altitude to start. 24%. We're going to have to drop. And we're going to have to do it fast. We are pulling hard to one of the sides, too. Okay. Hydrogen to off. We're going to just glide this for a little bit. And this ship is not a glider. Oh, we are... Ugh. Come on, we can do this. One hour of fuel, <laughs> not nearly that long of hydrogen. We are falling at full speed. Slow us down. We're going to come back in pretty close to where this thing originally crashed. Honestly, I think that's fine. Oh dear. Two and a half kilometers. We can stop this. We've got time. 
Let's go for somewhere flat at least. 12%. I think atmospheric thrusters. Oh. Oh, we are pulling hard. Come on. I need those atmospheric thrusters to be lifting me up again. They've done it before. 11% hydrogen. We need to break in fast. Level it out. Give the atmospheric thrusters their chance. I think we've... I think we're holding. Nope, nope. We are very much not 8% hydrogen. We've only got one shot at this, really. 500 meters is my estimated stop range for this thing. We are drifting hard to the side, too. Bring us down quickly. 6%. Slow us. 3%. 350 meters down to go. 3% hydrogen. Two percent. Can we hold? Prepare for emergency braking maneuver. We're slowing down. Eighty meters. Oh dear. Okay, I think we've got this now. Forty meters off the ground. Twenty seven meters. Can we lift it up? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's go for a little bit more level terrain. Ugh. That did not go according to plan, not one bit. Bring us forward. 3% hydrogen. We don't have the hydrogen fuel. I'm just going to need to set this down in a moment, too. If we had 10 to 15% hydrogen, I'd be feeling a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, more is better. Um, let's evaluate what happened. We ran out of fuel, obviously. Could we do it if we would have had more? I mean more ice. I don't think we have the conversion rate from ice to hydrogen to make that work. Because I brought on board an extra 200,000 ice. I was thinking that might be enough, but I honestly thought we'd get further on our atmospheric engines. Which we would if we had more of them. And so I think we just got to plan on going completely on hydrogen or adding a lot, a lot more atmospheric engines as they lose efficiency as you go higher up. We also got to get rid of the ships on the side. I have no interest in that right now. On the ships on the side, I believe are what was me, what were making us turn hard. And they cost us some extra fuel. Not much, but they cost us some. So, I think the miner... I think I'm going to strip it for parts, but... A defense installation? Oh dear. We're going to be passing, like, right over that. We do have guns. This is a terrible, terrible idea. Let's...
systems. Oh, this is a bad idea. Such a bad idea right now. 4% hydrogen. See, we are generating it still. Just don't have the generation. That's what I need to fix. And I gotta check and make sure that it's balanced between all of our oxygen generators. Because honestly, I'm not sure it is. How many cameras on here? Cameras. You. Well, that one's upside down. And I don't know why I can't view eight. How many weapons do we have on the bottom? We have two Gatlings. And an interior turret. We have no shields. Oh, I so want to do it. So want to do it. We're going to do a quick pass over. I can't even look at it to see how strong it is. I do have a quick pass over too, is that if we're not able to take it, we're only here for a few seconds. Uh, we're probably not getting close enough. I, yeah, we're not, and I can't turn this thing well enough to change that. So I think we're going to land it on the lake again. And But we're sliding, we're sliding hard. We land it on the lake. We can use that. We refuel this. We're gonna burn through that hydrogen so fast. Oh dear. We're gonna need it though. Zero percent hydrogen. We've got a little tiny bit, but it's really not much. I just gotta remember to bring this in so slowly because the atmospheric engines on this thing are seriously lacking. We do have a few, just not much to do much. So hands are off the controls now, going down about a meter per second. Let's, if I was going to take that base though, I have six turrets on the top and two on the bottom and I'm not going to count that interior turret on the back. Honestly, I feel like that's just a joke. I'd need to rotate upside down. But I don't have... Let me shut off our ion thrusters. Oh. I don't have... thrusters to be able to rotate. We have 10 hydrogen and 8 ion. Drop us a little bit too. One percent hydrogen is something too. Let's just get this landed. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna build drop tanks on this. Well, maybe not drop tanks, but I'm gonna build additional hydrogen tanks. I don't feel like they're anywhere good to put them, but I'm gonna guess we need at least three times that capacity of hydrogen 
order to successfully make it to space. Coming in, pair the hydrogen thrusters for a quick stop at 1% fuel. Probably wasn't the smartest maneuver I've ever done. What? What is going on? Oh. I closed the doors and I didn't turn on the oxygen vents. And so, there's no oxygen inside of this ship. Still had my helmet open. So that is actually a good sign because it means this ship is airtight. And atmospheric... Oh! I think we locked. Or not. Okay. So, close that door. Interesting. Go ahead and open these up. What are we fixing? Landed hard some on something. Enough to do damage. Um. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't think I shut those off again. I was wondering if I had the toggle messed up on those, like I had them on the uh, the ion thrusters. So if we build some extra tanks, I'll need a spot to put them. We might just have to trail them out the back for now. But anyways, I'll figure that out, and we'll come back next time. So I'm Antalus, I will catch you later.